bullheaded approach assalamu alaikum guys and welcome to another episode of smile to jannah smile to jannah <laughs> Whilst the world rushes towards making a cure or a vaccine, locking down its own population and people, and healing those that are infected, India has noticed. <laughs> India has noticed something that people just aren't doing. What is that? I hear you ask. Surely the world's doing everything that's in its power to stop this ruddy virus. Hmm. <laughs> well, that's where you and I were wrong. There's one thing that we didn't do, and that was looking the virus square in the eyes and saying I know what you're thinking. That's it. That's it solved everything, but that's not enough. Yeah, India's got back up in place. Dang. And if the police in India are not throwing stones at its own citizens that are asking for equal rights, the UN human rights chief has expressed concern about accusations that police fail to protect Muslims and their homes and businesses from mobs. But here, the police are seen with Hindus throwing stones towards Muslims. They are doing a special type of dance. To me, it seems like it's a I'm desperate to go to the toilet dance. What the hell is this? <laughs> As you can see, the virus stands no chance. Is that so right, sir? Not so long ago, India was fighting its own citizens that were protesting against the CAA bill which is deliberately discriminatory against Muslims in particular mate. Bullheaded approach! And not to mention the ongoing lockdown in Kashmir. There was a five month communications blackout, no internet, army on the streets. Nonsense. So Mr. Arnab Goswami who is literally the face and the symbol of far-right extremism in India You're not a man! You're not a man! Has got on his high horse and said Yo, if we are to defeat the coronavirus you gotta forget all that business to do with fighting for your rights and all that sort of stuff You gotta put that on pause What? And we gotta unite Unite against the virus mate Tonight as we come together as a nation to fight the global pandemic coronavirus it's a big deal that Anub Goswami was to put all this hate behind him. This could be the time that Anub Goswami changes. The ones politicizing and the ones compromising public health for their selfish interests should seriously introspect. I want you guys to give Mr. Goswami a chance. Yeah, don't be discriminated against him because let's face it, the virus don't discriminate against no one. It's time India unites in this fight against the deadly virus. Yes man, I'm with you. It is time to unite and fight. Let's unite for a healthy India. Right on! It's 1.3 billion Indians versus the coronavirus. I don't think the Samajwadi Party is with the people of this country. The life of the people. I don't think the Congress Party is with the people of this country. Alright, that doesn't look good. So Anab Goswami here is discriminating and politicizing the coronavirus to attack two political parties. It's just two parties, you know. I mean, it obviously takes him time to get all the hate out, yeah? Don't be ridiculous. Yeah. You know, you are you are worse, <laughs> you are worse than the pandemic we are speaking about, but I will never say that. Disgusting. You are a dirty individual. Yeah, that's that's pretty sick actually. You can't just say I would never say that after saying an insult. It doesn't magically wipe out the insult. If you call people what great is it, um, supine protoplasmic um, invertebrate jellies and then end with <laughs> I'd never say that. <laughs> you just did mate. This garbage you throw at us we'll throw the garbage back at you 10 times as much force. Do you understand Taira what we'll do? <sighs> and here he is insulting an elderly woman that he is invited to come on the show for a debate. These people at Shaheen Bagh do not deserve our democracy. They do not deserve democratic rights. 
uh, now he's attacking a group of people that are protesting in a democratic country for equal rights and this guy has just stated on national television they don't really deserve rights. No one's saying. Which democratic process is he following? I'd say the democratic thing that's in his brain but the prerequisite for that is having a brain in the first place mate. <laughs> Alright, so maybe Anup Goswami's friends are somewhat better. In the Trinamool Congress or the CPIM or the Indian National Congress is propagating the drinking of cow urine to cure COVID-19. Okay, it's okay. only the BJP and its allies who are doing that. And listen to me! Stop arguing like a fool! Stop arguing like a f f fool! Fool's not exactly a high vocab word mate. It's not a word that you should be struggling on. Unless you actually are a fool. Yes. Yes. <laughs> This approach of Anup Goswami and the far right people generally speaking is I guess it, how do I describe it? Bullheaded approach. Bullheaded approach. Exactly Anup, exactly. May Allah have mercy on India. Let's leave it there guys. Until next time. Stop arguing like a fool! Assalamu alaikum.